as a riots broke out after the decision not to prosecute him over the death of Michael Brown. Overnight, thousands of troops have been deployed to prevent further violence. Our North America correspondent, Rajini Vadyanathan, reports. Don't shoot! Don't shoot! The small suburb of Ferguson, once again the scene of a tense standoff between police and protesters. For a second day, people took to the streets, calling for justice for Michael Brown. 18-year-old Michael Brown was shot dead in August at this housing estate by a police officer, Darren Wilson, who fired at him 12 times. On Monday, a grand jury decided not to charge the policeman over the teenager's death. In his first interview, Officer Wilson explained why he reached for his gun in an act of self-defence. I keep it on my right hip. Mm -hmm. I take it out and I come up, I point it at him. And when I said, I said, get back or I'm going to shoot you. And then his response, immediately, he grabbed the top of my gun. And when he grabbed it, he said, you're too much of a to shoot me. And while he's doing that, I can feel his hand trying to come over my hand and get inside the trigger guard and try and shoot me with my own gun. And that's when I pulled the trigger for the first time. Protests continue across America. In New York, there were also clashes between police and protesters. In Ferguson, it was less violent than the night before. But the anger and the tension hasn't gone away. Regini Vardianathan, BBC News, Ferguson. Well, Regini joins us now live from Ferguson. You're saying the tension hasn't gone away. What's it like there right now? Well, I'm outside the police station in Ferguson, and 24 hours ago, this was where some of the worst violence was seen. Now, it's very different this evening. We're not seeing any of the kind of violence that we saw before, um, but it's still very tense. And if you just uh, look over there, we can see uh, riot police advancing towards us. Now, earlier, about an hour ago, they uh, called out to protesters. There were about two to 300 protesters here earlier in the night. They called out to protesters to uh, disperse or they said that they would arrest them. So that's why this street has been cleared away. But as you can see, a huge police presence here. Uh, the governor of Missouri uh, deployed uh, more than 2,000 members of America's Reserve Force, the National Guard here tonight. So tripling the numbers who were on call last night. And that was also in response to some criticism, including from the mayor of Ferguson, who said, that the National Guard did not respond fast enough to events last night. So as you can see uh, just around me, uh, a really ramped up security presence, but one that protesters say is simply antagonising them. Regini, thank you very much indeed. In other news this morning, people with learning disabilities